Hello and welcome to Virtue Mercedes. Today I'm here with the EQB 350 AMG Line Premium. This vehicle has seven seats and is fully electric. So along the front of the car we have LED high performance headlights along with the blue iconic Mercedes EQ trim detailing. We also have the famous black panel grille which again is famous across the EQ range along with parking sensors and chrome trim at the bottom. Here we have the 19 inch AMG alloy wheels that are five spoke. These are aerodynamically optimised. We have the EQB badge, which is in the blue iconic Mercedes EQ colour. We also have electrically folding wing mirrors and keyless entry. You can see the Patagonia red is sparkling in the sun. And along to the side, we have our charging ports. So we've got our AC and our DC charging for rapid and quick, which will allow up to a 257 mile range. Because this is the electric vehicle, they have redesigned the entire back with their LED light strip, as you've seen previously on the front of the vehicle as well. This one is the 4Matic and the 350. This also comes in a 300 as well. The car also features reversing sensors, as well as a hidden reversing camera. There are three ways to open this boot. You've got um, the handle, which is hidden underneath the Mercedes logo. There's also a button in the driver's front door and you can also do it on the key, which I personally find the easiest. On the boot lid, you can also adjust the height. So if you click this button on the way up and lock it into place, the boot will now only open at that height. As this is the seven seat version, this will give you a boot capacity of 465 litres. If you choose the five-seater option, it will increase your boot capacity to 495. And with the seats down, you'll get a boot capacity of 1,000, just over 1,700 litres. A couple of features in the boot, you've got the USB-C ports for the users in the back seats. With the third row of seats, if you just pull these levers, and it will bring it up, and you can see that this does reduce your luggage capacity. That was the features outside of the car, so now let's just take a look inside. So as you can see, plenty, plenty of space in the back. Just a couple of features I wanted to highlight. We've got the AMG trim, so we've got the leather and the suede here for you with the red stitching. It also has a rear armrest, which features a cup holder, which can fit my drink. You've also got climate control here in the back here for you, along with the USB-C ports in the back. Now we're in the front of the car and first impressions are just wow. Immediately drawn to the ginormous display, the new MBUX infotainment system. The display, obviously you have your dials in the front of you, which are all digital. You can change the view from miles an hour to your mileage. You can also have a full screen display as well for you, which looks pretty cool. And you can also change what you want on the sides as well. So you can have things like your radio, trips, journeys, your average consumptions, and different EQ stats as well. So as this is the electric car, instead of the um, fuel, you've got your miles and your range on here for you. On this side of the steering wheel, everything will can control the media display. So you can go back to your home page. You can use the touchpad to navigate and swipe, along with answering and declining phone calls, volume. And the new MBUX system has a really cool voice feature. So hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Navigate me to Mercedes-Benz of Ascot. Here is what I found. On the new MBUX system, um, you've got things like your phone, so you can easily connect your phone. You can have a different one connected for music. You've got your navigation, so the map is very large 
Um, you can change the view whether you want a 2D, 3D view on here for you. Actually also with the nav, because this is an electric car, it will show you your electric charging points nearby. So it's actually quite clever. So it will assist you so you don't have to worry about where to charge your car. You've got the radio, so you've got a huge, huge list of radios here for you, along with a media that you can connect your phone to for music. Comfort, you've got things like ambient lighting, so we've got 64 different colours of ambient lighting, which you can change around here. Now this is the EQ button, so what this will do will also help you with search for charge stations, your um, consumption, you've got your energy flow, and in your settings, you can turn off the features such as um, lane keep assist, your interior motion sensors, parking sensors, and you can change all the light settings in your car as well. You also have the stylish air vents, which also um, contain uh, ambient lighting. So when you change the heating of the car, they'll change color from blue to red, depending whether you want cold or warm. Along here, you've also got the gloss black of your um, climate control. So I can have it one temperature and my passenger can have a complete different temperature as well. So here you can change the heating on my side of the car. You can also have your menu on the screen above. It will bring up the different fan speeds, where you want your air and also the temperature as well. Following on, we've got uh, wireless charging with a USB-C port as well. This car also comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also have two cup holders as well in the front. More storage here containing two USBs as well for you and a lot that you can put in there. So with the premium package it comes with the blinds in the front and the back. And it also comes with a sunroof. This is where you change your gears. So you go up for reverse, down for your drive and pop it in at the side for park. We are driving the EQB 350. This car has a 66.7 kilowatt hour battery. It has 292 brake horsepower with a 0 to 60 of just six seconds. And with an electric car, what's very different from a petrol or diesel car is just the instant response. So the second you put your foot down, there is no delay. It's just so quick. Also, you can change the recuperation. There's different modes that you can have. For example, you've got one pedal driving, which is the most, um, most intense form of the recuperation. So that would be a D minus minus, which is your ultimate recuperation. And then you've got a D plus, which is your gliding modes. If you wanted the car just to do it itself, there's some, you can put it in a mode for D auto. And what that will do is just based on on the road and your, your driving and just the conditions, it will do it all for you. And that's all done via the paddles on the back. The ride is very smooth. Feel quite high up on the road. Uh, obviously it is fairly compact SUV, like one of our smaller ones, but it's, it's comfortable. They've obviously thought a lot about comfort in this car. We can change the dynamic modes. So in eco, let's see if we can pop this in sport. And my goodness, does that give you an extra bit of oomph? That just wants to go. For any more information on the wonderful EQB, please visit virtuemercedes-benz.com. <laughs>